Hi there, สวัสดีครับ You are watching Dr. Green Channel. Today we are going to show you two types of the transformers and the actually uh, transformers that we are using in the stabilizer in the automatic uh, stabilizer. We are using the the toroid, uh, which you see on the right hand side over here. So there are several uh, advantage of the toroid uh, transformer, which uh, the chip. It look like the the donut, and uh, or someone we we say the the, the ring uh, shape like this. So the first one, uh, the, the advantage is it is nearly idle uh, magnetic circuits. So there is no any uh, flux uh, loss. So uh, in term of the performance and the efficiency uh, for the toroid is better. And the second one is lower uh, stray loss. Uh, or the, the the loss from the winding or the uh, the parts of the transformer itself, so this will help uh, to maintain. Uh, what I have mentioned earlier is the magnetic field uh, inside this metal. So the third one is the less volume and the weight. So if we compare uh, the volume and the weight with the EI type uh, on the right hand side. Uh, the toroid will be smaller and lighter. So uh, in some market, uh, we have heard about the toroid. The, the toroid transformer helps uh, to have lower weight or a lighter and, and, and smaller size of the stabilizer. So this is the, 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 the fact when you compare with the EI type. But if you compare among the Toroid uh, transformer. So this one is the the, the good one. Still uh, has more weight than the 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 individual uh, toroid, which has a uh, lower uh, quality. So uh, what we concern is about the why and also the the, the metal uh, that made the the transformer itself. All right, and uh, the next one is the less audible uh, hum so uh, with this you might heard maybe the, the humming noise uh, from the transformer and without, without the noise will be the the toroid and the next one is the I, I think it is the the conclusion is for toroid has higher uh, efficiency so it's because of the the perfect stray uh, magnetic field uh, sensitive uh, in the circuit so there is no any uh, magnetic field loss. So for this, it has better uh, to control uh, the magnetic flux inside the, the the metal. All right. So we will uh, the the next one we we are going to discuss about the the good thing uh, for the EI type. Uh, Transformer because uh, this one has really good uh, tolerance uh, to the DC uh, offset because uh, thanks to the the gap or the uh, the blank uh, space over here. So uh, with this uh, space or, or the blank on the EI type, uh, this one will help to uh, maintain the performance even uh, there is the the DC offset uh, coming into the system. So uh, consider the, the, the air gap uh, on this uh, EI uh, transformer is, is work as the, 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 the pressure uh, relief valve for the, for the excess magnetic flux. So uh, this is very good uh, if you are uh, deployed uh, or using the stabilizer where uh, the DC offset is 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 having in the power line uh, that coming to your home, but uh, most of the case there is some certain uh, solution which still can make the toroid uh, transformer uh, can stand or can resist uh, to the DC offset. 
that will cause the efficiency of the transformer lower. So what is the solution? So we take uh, the concept of the air gap from the EI type and brought into the toroid. So this is what the idea uh, that we are des designing uh, the transformer used in the Dr. Green stabilizer. So it's quite uh, heavy, right? Okay. So if if we uh, talk about the, the, the weight and uh, uh, the, the volume, so again, if you compare uh, among the same type, so the toroid that has uh, the better performance will have the, the more weight and also uh, bigger. So this is... Uh, the thing that uh, we have to understand. So when we talk about uh, we talk about the terms of the, the 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 weight, lighter and smaller. So we normally uh, compare the toroid with the other transformer, which is the the EI type transformer. All right. So just now we uh, we we talk about the um, the DC offload, right? So uh, before I going. To, to that topic. So we uh, talk about what is the, the toroid transformer. So the, the shape uh, is, is, is the round shape uh, because it has a round core uh, that consists of the laminated or the, the, the metal uh, that consists of uh, many layers and, and assemble uh, a bunch of the, the, the metal sheets uh, all stacked on top and each uh, other form the 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 holy uh, cylindric shape the cylindric uh, cylinder uh, shape like this so uh, this is the the idea of the uh, toroid uh, transformer and to cope with the dc offset so we have to broad the the concept of the air gap and how do we uh, decide the uh, the toroid uh, transformer here we are because we have to deliver uh, the the better efficiency to the transformer and has to prevent uh, the core saturation of of the transformers so this will help uh, to maximize the the performance of the stabilizer so if you are uh, using the the stabilizer uh, that you see on the back uh, from Dr. Green, so you can uh, be sure that inside uh, the stabilizer we are using very high quality of the toroid uh, transformers, which also having the the good design uh, to avoid the uh, saturations of the transformer by uh having the 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 good design and also a uh, very experienced manufacturer by um put the 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 gap between the the metal so we will have the 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 air gap to overcome uh when there is the the excess of the magnetic flux in the core so the space uh, will be about uh, the, 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 the paper sheet, uh, which is about uh, 0 0.2 uh, inch wide. So this is how uh, we made our uh, stabilizer. And also, of course, the transformer inside has very uh, good characteristics. So, of course, uh, the, the process to make the, the thin slit here is not easy, but uh, to have better uh, performance of the transformer and of course the stabilizer we we, ha we have to do that and uh, this will help uh, to increase the performance and of course uh, to reduce the heat or energy uh, that uh, form in the transformer so 
by this, uh, we can reduce uh, the, the temperature because uh, when you deploy or install the, the stabilizer, uh, you cannot choose the place. So uh, if you live near to the factory or the industrial uh, so on, so that there, there of course would be the transient uh, coming to the line and uh, that probably will be the uh, causing the DC offset, uh, which is not good uh, at all to the normal uh, toroid uh, transformer, but uh, you will be overcome or uh, no worries about uh, the transformer if you are using the, our uh, stabilizer. And the good and the good stabilizer uh, have to consist with uh, the good quality, the high performance transformer, and the result is you don't need any cooling fan. So it has a capability to uh, exhaust the heat by the natural cooling. So uh, of course, uh, the, the, in in some brand, uh, of course, the fan will uh, turn when the the temperature is accumulated and reach the threshold. But for us. Uh, with the good design, as I mentioned earlier, we don't need any fan because there is no any energy accumulate uh, on the transformer at all. So this is the, the, the advantage and why our uh, stabilizer has um, the weight because uh, it consists of the good quality and uh, the size of the stabilizer is very reasonable. Uh, because uh, it can uh, put anywhere, at, but you can use it without uh, any worries. Uh, for example, if you having the, the fan inside, you have to uh, worry about uh, the, the airflow. But with this, just five meters away from the wall or from the another subject. So just leave the space uh, to have the natural uh, air cooling inside the stabilizer. And also we uh, manage uh, by the microprocessor that will uh, actually increase the intelligence uh, of the stabilizer. So these are the, the key uh, factors uh, that we are using when we uh, design, carefully design and also brought the, the good product uh, for all AV customers uh, here in Thailand. All right, so I think uh, today you have the idea uh, what is the difference uh, between uh, EI transformer and the Teroy transformer and also uh, the benefit uh, of, the, of each type of the transformers and how uh, we bring the superior uh, design from other or conventional uh, transformer brought into this uh, to have all the benefits and of course to uh, give you the very good performance, uh, good efficiency uh, of the stabilizer. Right, if you like this video, uh, give us the thumbs up. Uh, share the video to your friends and follow us on the social media, uh, for example, YouTube, um, Facebook, uh, IGTV, and uh, the coming uh, TikTok application. Right. Hope you enjoy this video and see you again uh, in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye. สวัสดีครับ